Welcome to the Math 3 lesson summary video for the task Log Logic. The purpose of this task is to introduce logarithms, which are the inverses of exponents, and to make sense of their notation. It is also important to remember that you should not use a calculator to evaluate the expressions in this task. That would defeat the purpose of the task in helping you to learn how to think about logarithms. You'll get to use that button, the log button, but not yet. So we finished the last task considering two inverse expressions. We had 2 to the x power, and we didn't know the inverse. But now I'd like to introduce to you the inverse of 2 to the x, which is called log base 2 of x. So we could create a diagram that illustrates this relationship. If I, substitu if I substitute x equals 3 into 2 to the x, then I get 2 to the third power equals 8. If I undo that using log base 2, the log base 2 of 8 will give me back out 3. So inverses, if I take what I got out from the original function and I put it into the inverse function, I should start, I should end up where I started, which you can see happens here. So another way of, we could summarize this relationship is since 2 to the third power equals 8, that means that log base 2 of 8 equals 3. This can also be done for logarithms of other bases. Base 10 is one of the most popular. If 10 to the first power equals 10, that also means that the log base 10 of 10 equals 1. 10 to the second power equals 100, that means the log base 10 of 100 equals 2. Notice how the x in the exponent and the y here are being switched. The or in other words, the input of 1 and the output of 10. Now 10 is the input and 1 is the output. 2 is the input, 100 is the output, and then 100 becomes the input, and 2 becomes the output. Same thing in the final row. 10 to the third power equals 1,000. The input is 3. Output is 1,000. Switch it in log form. The input's now 1,000, and the output is now 3. So inputs and outputs get switched from exponential expressions to logarithmic expressions. In general, you can see this pattern summarized by this statement, if b to the a power equals c, where a is the input and c is the output, then that means that the log base b of c equals a, where now c is the input and a is the output. In other words, the simplest way to keep it in mind is that when you're switching from exponents to logarithms, the inputs and outputs get switched and the base stays as the base. So if I look at problem one, and I use that general formula, summarized up here without the colors. If I want to evaluate a logarithmic expression like this and find some a that each of these equals, well, it's going to be helpful to write it in exponential form, and the exponent will tell me the answer for the log expression. So for the first one, we know 3 to the first power is 3. So that means that a is 1 because the exponent was 1. We know 3 to the second power is 9, so that means that b should go at 2 on the number line because the exponent was 2. We know that 3 to the negative first power is 1 third, which means c should go at negative 1 on the number line. We know that anything to the 0 power is 1, so in this case d is going to go at 0. And anytime you have a log of any base that equals 1, it will be 0 because anything to the 0 power is 1. So that could help you fill in a lot of other points on this task. Finally, for e, we know that 3 to the negative second power is 1 ninth, so e should be placed at negative 2. Let's consider a situation like number 5 where the bases are all different. Again, we want to use the same type of thinking. We know that 4 to the second power is 16, so the exponent of 2 tells us that the log base 4 of 16 is 2. We know that 2 to the fourth power is 16, which tells us that point B should be located at 4. The value of that expression is 4. C is a little more difficult. Using some trial and error, we could find that 8 to the 4 thirds power is 16. So that's 1.3 repeating. It might fit well there on the number line, just slightly left of halfway between 1 and 2. And 16 to the first power is 16. So point D fits most appropriately right there at 1. Question seven, again, we're using the same type of thinking. 
Now we're looking at all base 10 expressions. 10 to the 1.7 is approximately 50. That's rounded. So we could place point A in between 1 and 2, but closer to 2. 10 to the 2.18 is approximately 150. We could therefore place B in between 2 and 3. 10 to the third power equals 1,000 exactly, so C is placed directly at 3. And then 10 to the 2.7 power is approximately 500, so D would fit in between 2 and 3. The task finished with asking us to classify several statements as always true, sometimes true, or never true based on our exploration. The first statement, the value of log B of X is positive, is sometimes true. We saw cases where logs were negative outputs and where logs were positive outputs, so it's only sometimes true. Question, statement 10, log base B of X is not a valid expression of X is negative. That is always true. We never took the log of a negative number, and it is, in fact, impossible. If you think about it, there's no power that you could raise a positive base to that's going to give you a negative result. Similarly, 11 is always true. We saw multiple instances in this task where we had a log of a base of 1, and it always equaled 0. And it will always equal 0 because anything to the 0 power is 1. Log base b of b is always 1 because anything raised to the first power is itself. That's always true. And 13 is sometimes true. This is true when x is a number bigger than 1, but it becomes false if x is between 0 and 1. Or, in other words, fractions such as uh, 1 one hundredth. Or 1 eighth. And finally, statement 14 is always true based on the definition of a logarithm. If you wrote that in exponential form, it would be clear if I want to find b to some power that equals b to the n. Well, obviously, that has to be the nth power. Thank you for watching. Hope this was helpful. If you need help with the Ready, Set, Go homework problems, then please check out the Canvas site for your class and the Ready, Set, Go homework help videos located there.